Most often, a discussion about robotics is associated with a visual of a moving, talking machine. But this is not always the case. Robots are created on computers, and while some can be physically created, most often these robots are specially designed programs that become software. When you buy the bots, you're not buying the ability to do X, Y, or Z activity or process. It's more of a capability. Um, and that capability is the capability of automating repetitive, high volume, rules-based tasks. The use of robotic process automation in South Africa is still brand new. Tech experts Digi Blue are one of the few consultants in South Africa that's driving the revolution in the space and it's starting in the financial services industry. All of the big banks in South Africa are adopting robotic process automation. They like the fact that it's cheap and it's fast and it's incredibly compliant so it works extremely well in a, in a highly regulated industry. For my side I interface with the developers I need to know and understand how the actual RPA works what is it that it needs to tri trigger a certain process to trigger a certain point in a, in a robot what is it that in the data should be there and should not be there. So Amanda has actually programmed the, uh, the robot to look for a specific email from a client now the client base is between three and four thousand emails um, and she's also programmed the robot to look for a specific line of information that is contained in that specific client's email. This whole process is going to take a few minutes. It would find that email and that information. It's amazing. According to a report by McKinsey, RPA can enable businesses to improve performance by reducing errors and improving quality and speed, raising productivity growth globally. Robotics process automation is really about capabilities and improving efficiencies. It has the ability to replace between 3 and 25 people at a time. What then does it mean for people in the traditional workplace? The McKinsey research revealed that up to 140 million full-time workers could be replaced by automation in the U.S. by 2025. I think the impact will be profound, and that's going to happen anyway. People are referring to this as the fourth industrial revolution, the first industrial revolution, as you know, it had the Luddites and people that tried to smash up the, the looms and so on. But I think the lesson from history is that the techn technological advance is inevitable and it's not even a case of the robots are coming, the robots are here. No doubt there will be a massive change in the labor force, but with the need to raise the bottom line and remain competitive, it's inevitable that new technology will take precedence. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.